Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Moonglow Bay. Uh, this is a sort of life sim game, a bit like Animal Crossing, a bit like Stardew Valley, a bit more focused on fishing than either of those games though. Uh, it's available on Steam, I think there's a console version and I'm not sure of the details. Uh, but the main reason I'm playing this is because the soundtrack uh, was composed by Lena Rain, uh, the fantastic uh, woman behind the Celeste and Chicory soundtracks, both of which are games I absolutely adored. Uh, this has been released, uh, it came out like October or something, I just haven't gotten around to playing it. Uh, one thing I will point out already, I've noticed that uh, some of the other Steam reviews are talking about this, the mouse and keyboard controls are bad. Um, I'll just like go into the game a little bit, press enter to get it past that. So this is the main menu here, um, you can't use the arrow keys, you can't use the mouse, you have to use the WASD keys to scroll through this menu, which is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> uh, so most of the Steam reviews were re recommending you just use a controller, I'm gonna do that. Uh, this did not recognize my Switch Pro controller out of the box, I have it uh, emulating a PS4 controller right now, you may need to do something similar. Uh, but yeah, with the controller it makes a lot more sense. You just, you know, you can use the stick, you can use the D-pad. It works normally. Uh, we're going to start by diving into the options just a little bit. It's not a lot here. Uh, you can change the language. English, French, Canadian French, uh, German. I think that's Korean? Uh, Portuguese, Spanish. Uh, I think that's... Maybe that's Japanese? I'm not sure. <laughs> But yeah, there's a, there's a number of languages available. Uh, you can turn vibration on and off. Uh, flashing, I might just switch off just because there's no real reason to have that on. Just to make it a little more uh, watchable, I suppose. Then you have your graphics settings here. Uh, I might dial down the game's volume just a little bit. There we go. Uh, it was just peaking my, my meters over there. Uh, you've got pretty standard graphics options here, as you can see. Make the interface a bit bigger if you're playing on a TV or something. Uh, you can have anti-aliasing settings. It defaulted to windowed 1080p, which I thought was interesting because this display is 1080p, so it was just sort of going off the edge. Uh, but borderless window works fine. Uh, there's full screen there as well if that's what you want. It's got all the normal modes. Uh, then you have your audio settings. It's just volumes. Nothing super exciting. Uh, controls. Everything seems to be remappable. Uh, so if you do want to remap things, you can. It has automatically uh, decided what to do with the PS4 buttons it thinks my controller has. Uh, we got cross circle options, as you can see. Cross circle, triangle, square, share options. Uh, hopefully this will work fine given this is not really a PS4 controller, but we'll see. Um, yeah, uh, options is plus. Uh, the PS4 controller has some weird buttons. Instead of having, you know, a start and select or something equivalent to that, like start and back on the 360, uh, the buttons are options, which is on this side and it's like the start button, and share, which is more like this capture button here. It doesn't do things in game in normal PS4 games, it, it takes screenshots and stuff. Uh, usually they use the, like, this, like a little trackpad thing on a PS4 controller that they use instead, it's, it's weird. Uh, anyway, you can see there's a bunch of fishing options here, because fishing is a major part of this game. Uh, we'll see how we go, I suppose. But yeah, I haven't played the game at all. Uh, I, basically all I know about it is that it's about fishing and the controls with the mouse and keyboard are weird, and you should probably play with the controller. <laughs> uh, let's start a new game and see how we go. Who are you? Uh... I like these characters. Uh, I think this one's probably the closest to me. That one? Oh, oh, I like that. Um, I would have liked maybe some additional options, but this is a nice selection. Uh, she, thank you. What's your name? Uh, I have to try it? Yes, I do.
my partner. Like, romantic partner or, like, fishing partner? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> then you can edit. Oh, you can go back and change this stuff again. Uh, I just wanted to see what happened, but I guess I gotta go through it all again if you pick edit. I don't know if you can change this stuff later. I hope you can. Start game. That's a promising start. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, got a cute little loading icon. I guess that's me? Hmm. Danielle! Come on, you guppy! Grab the line! Hmm. Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? Oh, well, should, I should mention there's nothing underneath where my face is on the screen right now. I will move it if something shows up in that corner, but I don't know what to expect, so... Hopefully I'll remember to move it. N nothing. Except for the water, the monsters, the curse. You know what the locals say. Ah. They're just stories. Every one of them, I promise. Ah. Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. Ah. Oh, sand a decent fishing shop. spot. Like at the edge of the boat, right here. Then select the fishing hook icon to begin. Oh, I see. I've got... I don't know what that icon is. Like a dog? Is that a dog? Fish. Now, to cast the line. Fish will be more cautious if we cast near your boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more, more likely something will bite. Mm. Press and hold... Is that the left stick? Oh, is that the circle button? To cast your line. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. Perfect. Now, be patient. Keep the lure still and wait for something to bite. That was actually the cross button. Like, it's the B button on my controller, but it's the cross button. Hmm. The moment the lure dips under, press and hold RT to hook the fish. Quick or it might escape. Okay, RT is like on an Xbox controller. This tutorial is a little bit confusing. Huh. <laughs> Once hooked, continue holding RT to reel it in. Oh, I think T, T is the big one, not the... Oops. Okay. Try that again. Yeah, okay. Fish will change direction as they try to break free. Move the stick in the direction the fish swims? Something or other. I didn't quite get, get, manage to read that before it disappeared. Okay, the fishing minigame is a little bit more involved than the ones in uh, Animal Crossing and I guess in Stardew. New species, grating bellyfish, 17.479 kilograms. Nope. Ah. See? Easy when you get the hang. Give it another go. This one without my help. Oh, I see. I hold down the button and I can move my little cursor to decide where I put the line, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh, it hasn't got the prompts for what direction to move the stick either. That's interesting. Oh, I can move the camera. Okay. A little bit. Child of the Moon. 6.28 kilograms. I like it. 
Mm. Fantastic! A different species. We need a variety to cook and sell for our new business. Cute. Oh, what's happening? Monster, look at us! Come to torment us! Ah! All NPCs. Just a whale. Ah, oh, this town's ridiculous superstitions. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. Oh, look at that Bobby. The base full of amazing creatures, all waiting to be discovered. We'll find them and share them with the world. Mm. On that note, yeah, to celebrate our new adventure. We've got a Prezi. Mm -hmm. Hey, what happened to No More Surprises? Feels like a book? I'll open it tomorrow night, once you're back. Mm. You still want this, right? We could always go back to Ontario. Of course, moving here, it's your dream. But I'm asking what you want. Your dream. <laughs> My dream hasn't changed in 40 years. Wait, I'm 40? Alright. And every day with you, yes, that's a romantic partner, right? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> then I'll be right here, the whole journey, by your side. Oh, welcome home. <laughs> oh, a little kiss. Oh, sweeties. <laughs> oh, sweeties. Inglo Bay. Photo by J. Rodriguez. Three years later? Did something happen? It's really sad. someone at the door. I guess I should go see what they what they want. Hello? Wait, is that my daughter? Okay, hey mom. River? Why aren't you in Quebec? Mm. I gave my notice. Some things are more important. Oh god, what happened? Is this it? Mm. Assumption of Yaka mentioned, believed to be dead. Oh my god. Going to an absence of no less than three years. Wow. Also, ill. <laughs> Great you're here, but uh, fine, honestly. Mm. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Centennial Festival. Mm. You're doing what? Here? In Moonglow? <gasps> the mayor says it'll be a huge boost for the community. Uh. And people need the support. The whole bay's been struggling for years. Mm. And the fishing trade collapsed. Moonglow's down. Mm. I'm to attract new visitors soon. Moonglow Bay might never recover. Oh. Anyway, brighter thing. Time you open that present. I don't know if I should. Uh. Hey, um, why'd you call the dog Waffles? Huh. Wait, let me guess. Because of how much Robin loved Waffles? Oh. But not as much as me, remember? Every Saturday, right after swimming. Maple syrup, cinnamon, strawberries, glass of milk. And good times. Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> I wasn't. Good little doggy. I don't know if I should open that present. 
doesn't feel right. Is it up here somewhere? I'm not really sure where it is so that I can do anything with it. Oh, there it is. A fishing journal? My darling, Danielle. Journey. Bye. Been holding on to this for three years, Mum. Maybe it's time to write a new chapter. Saying I should restart the business? Huh. Precisely. A new street food store is exactly what the town needs. Oh. It'd be an inspiration. We should head out right now. Catch some ingredients. Huh. Okay, okay, but let me tidy first. If I'd known you were coming. Oh. Ruin the surprise? <laughs> okay, I'll be down on the beach. I'm worried. Tidy up the noodle packet. I suppose a dozen empty noodle packets isn't a fantastic look for the house. My daughter was just to restart the street food business. I know a, what was I, I know a great little spot to catch some ingredients. There's the fish that we've caught so far. Patches. Section is currently blank. It probably fills in later. And on the back, we've got a map. Huh? You okay, Mum? You look a bit lost. Yeah, I'm just looking for the, uh, you know, that place that sells the things. Hmm. Looking for somewhere specific in town. Just check out your map. Uh -huh. Map displays all shops, businesses, and points of interest. Press right name at any time. Oops. I think I found a bug. Is it minus? Doesn't seem to be. It is. Okay. Cool. Am I holding now? The trash can? Oh, so I can clean up the noodle packets. So it just clean everything up. Nice clean house. I really hope Robin's okay. Okay, that's the last of it. The trash can's outside, since she clearly forgot Fisker. Wait. Task complete. Oh, a raccoon. Hello, raccoon. Can I interact with you? Potato doggy. Potato doggy. Okay, I'm moving a lot faster now than I was inside. I have a little bit of camera movement. Uh, not a lot. I can, like, orbit it all the way around fairly slowly. Uh, and I can zoom in a decent amount, and I can zoom out a decent amount, but not super far. Scraps. Oh, okay. So we've got like a time, like a day, a day-night schedule for when things are open. All mm -hmm. oh, right. The streets are so empty. I only noticed before. The town needs investment, pure and simple. But at least you have everything you need for your business: yeah. your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. Huh. First things first. Let's catch some ingredients. a quick burst of effort to haul a fish in a particular direction. The technique is called striking. To strike, move the stick against the direction the fish is swimming, then press LT. Don't strike too often or you tie yourself out. Oh, 
got a ling. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a lot of actual information. I'm an accountant, not a blooming marine biologist. Huh. I'm sure the aquarium can help fill in the details. Huh. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and luring. When reeling a fish, will behave in one of three ways depending on its species. Fast species will dart around quickly to wriggle free. Reflex is a key. Mm -hmm. Aggressive species is a combination of speed and strength to escape. Oh. Finally, resilient species are slow moving but strong. It'll take several powerful strikes to haul one in. Mm. Fortunately, you can attract specific fish by using lures. <gasps> Give it a go. It's like to lure and cast your line. Uh. Button. The jig lure will attract aggressive and resilient fish. What? Spin the lure will attract fast and aggressive fish. Finally, the plug lure will attract resilient and fast fish. Try to check which, which lure you're using whenever you cast. Okay, so I can pick one of these. Okay, this one is good. Did that work? I am I am using the jig. Okay. Uh, switch it to the plug and see how we go. Nibbler. Oh. Perfect. Finally, a word on bait. Huh. Baiting your line is essential to catching larger species of fish. There are two types, low grade and high grade. If you cast with no bait, you'll attract small species only. If you cast with low grade bait, you'll attract small and medium species. Mm. Finally, if you cast with high grade bait, you'll attract medium and large species. Oh. Right now, select the lure and bait grade and cast your line again. Yeah, this is a lot more detailed in terms of how the fishing works than uh, some of those other games I mentioned. As you'd, as you'd hope, because it's a game about fishing. <laughs> Ocean Angel? Oh, it's adorable. Excellent! Remember there's a huge range of sea creatures up there, so mix up your lure, bait, and location to catch a variety. Just be aware that your bait is limited. Be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high-grade bait in particular will be in short supply. Oh. Well, stop the presses! Daniel Fisher is out the house before midday! Mm -hmm. Hey, Abby, you remember River? Mm. Of course! Brings you to our shabby little burg. Wait, Danielle, is that... you finally opened it? It's a fishing journal. Robin and I had a thing for these waters once. Yeah. In fact, I'm reviving the business, selling street food straight from the ocean. Danielle, uh -huh. you are gonna... <laughs> nice. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but in three years you never once struck me as outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. Uh -huh. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're gonna pedal... Cuisine, 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 cuisine from the most cursed cave in Canada. <laughs> I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. Uh. Okay, Daniel. If you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your new best friend. To make a meal, you need three things: raw fish, the recipe, and enough shells to cover the cost of any extra ingredient. Uh -huh. Selected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose what meals you want to make. Uh, I don't have any shells, so I guess I have to make this one. Kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the ingredients you need to source are the fish. Okay, first go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. Go to the different instruction stations around the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. And be precise, mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sale value. We want to wash first. Oh, okay. definitely how washing works, right? We want to chop. Oh. Cool. And we want to 
boil. Uh, I assume that's on over here. Huh. Boiling. Keep water at the correct temperature. Okay. Sort of a similar thing to the thing we just did. A bit harder. Uh, nope, there we go. Easy. Cool. We want to fry. Ooh. Stove top. Hold and release when the marker reaches the hit zone. Oh, I guess I messed that up. We're baking. That's when the marker reaches the hit zone. Okay. Great, there are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. <laughs> Finally, I was going to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will have to do for now. The storage box, like a Stardew Valley or something. <laughs> This music is gorgeous, by the way. Pretty much as I expected. Um, yeah, we're gonna put the fish cakes in there. Hey. Perfect. Here you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day, and the shells you earn will be transferred direct to your account. Hmm, mm. this old box isn't very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. Arrow mm. Gotu runs the tech shop. He'll give you a good deal. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawler. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. Finally, for information about fish species and filling in your journal, speak to Marina at the aquarium. <laughs> Aniel, are you really serious about this? No one's been out in these waters for... three years. Since Robin. No. There are dozens, hundreds of strange and dangerous creatures out there. We both know what it's like to lose someone. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a heavy opening. Oh, I'll be okay. Trust me. Huh. Oh, Sarah, Haru, and Nina. Marina. I'll see you soon. A little compass. Oh, that, that's under my face. Hang on. Let me just uh, move my face a little bit. There we go. We've got a little compass in this corner uh, that lets you navigate where you're going. Relatively easily. Not too bad. Oh, I accidentally fell down this little cliff right cliff face here. I don't think I can jump back up, but go take the step. Uh is this the tech shop? Yes, Akio Gotu. Ah, Mrs. Fisher, a very good day to you. <clears throat> Came looking for amusing nautical tales, I have none. So Stop fishing. Are you going to the shop? Yep. Yeah. Ah, Danielle, long time no see. What can I help you with? Yeah. Selling fish. Yeah. Fish? Yes, fish. Why are we whispering? Yeah. It's been so long since anyone sailed the bay. What are you currently using? Yeah. Not much. My storefront is basically a storage box and an honor system. Ah, oh, that's just sad. What you need is a windowed polybend. Oh. Vending machine? For seafood? Absolutely. I then ordered a few on special import. But with half the town shut down, our three units in stock are proving tricky to shift. Oh. Tell you what, cook on bring me a simple fish and chips. Ah. Maybe I can swing you a new customer discount on the display model. Mm -hmm. Sounds more like a cooking you lunch discount, but okay. <laughs> you will get to that in a moment. First, I want to visit these other little waypoints. Hey, Danielle, um, Fisher, and hello to you, Sarah. Uh. Johnson. Been a while, huh? Finally come to collect your trawler? Exactly. The two cats. Mm. Seriously? I thought I was making a joke. Probably not a very funny one. Uh. In that case, let me find your paperwork. Mm. Two cats. Yes, yeah, clogged fuel pump at the intake valve was shot. Three years storage, you got off easy. Yeah. It'll be a hundred shells for the repairs. So you can pay once I finish the work. Huh? Good shells, are you sure? That seems low. Yeah, don't worry. It's the least. For Robin. Uh, Just give me a little time to finish up. I'll be in touch once the repairs are complete. I really hope Robin's okay. Uh, there is a little task complete pop up where my face is now, but I think it's less important than seeing the, cap the compass, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Uh, Marina Pe Pezo Pezoto? Pezoto? 
A Shoto? I'm not, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her name, unfortunately. It's a cool name, though. Welcome. Uh, apologies, the aquarium is, isn't open for visitors. Hmm. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I'm looking for Marina. <gasps> At your service. Wait, Danielle, right? Robin's wife? Admiral W? <laughs> yeah. Robin was the soul of this place. The only sailor unfazed by all the legends. I'm going to truly recognize the potential of both the aquarium and Moonglow. Huh? Potential? What? Yeah. Be famous. There are countless species out there unique to these waters. A handful of the aquarium, a huge tourist attraction. Do I have to donate, like the museum and Animal Crossing? Is that what we're going for here? A little investment. We could study the whole aquatic biome. Turn this archaic town of myths and monsters into a hub of scientific progress. But when Robin vanished, those dreams vanished too. Hmm. How can I help? I'm fishing for my seafood business anyway. I could continue where Robin left off. Ooh. Wow, that would be incredible, but it's a huge undertaking. Yeah. Quite simply, the aquarium needs new species, as many as you can find. Yeah. The more unique creatures we house, the more new visitors will attract. Yeah. Business across town would benefit, including yours. Every new species you bring will boost your sales. Yeah. Great, where do I start? Begin, just bring me three new species, any three you can find. I think I already have some species I can give you. Uh, where did you go? You down here now? No, I can't go that way. Uh, where did Marina go? I can't see her. She's not under my face, for the record. She's not on the screen anymore. I'm a little confused. Is she outside? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's got to wait a bit and it'll come up shortly? I don't, I don't know. Can I don't fish here? I'm trying and it's not giving me the option. Hmm. Like a bus stop or something? Maybe I'll get fast travel using that bus stop later. Okay, I need to make some fish and chips so that I can get a discounted vending machine or whatever. Fish and chips. I need potatoes. I need more money. Take one of these first. Okay, we want to wash it. I'm oh, gonna get the fish. Get fish. Wash. And we're gonna chop it. We're gonna fry it. Bake it. There we go. Uh, we can go sell that. Oh, we can cook something else, maybe. Let's have a look. What do we have? Oh, we can make bait? I guess that's helpful. out of the fridge and give it a wash. I don't really understand the, what the washing minigame is about. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. stuff to sell, that'll give me a bit more money. I'll put it in my box here. Okay. 
Okay. I catch some fish just here at the pier? Doesn't look like it. I don't know if I'm missing the button you're supposed to press to fish. And this game has co-op? has a number of hot food vending machines available imported from abroad. You might be able to look for a special discount in exchange for free sample. Marina, I can see why you like her. Intends to revive the aquarium, needs a wide variety of creatures. Get Sarge, she's requested to bring her three new species. Any three I can find. Oh my god. So sad. Oof. the prompt to fish, so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. Hmm. Maybe it's not supposed to do it right now or something, but I don't know why that would be the case, given the concept of the game is, you know, fishing. A little doggy. <laughs> You, you want to write strange and evil fish, right? I got the wandering Kennebec. I've seen fish and that ain't no fish. That thing is a potato, which makes it a vegetable and a liar. All right. Okay, I can walk a little bit into the water here, but I still don't seem to be able to fish. I'm confused. Oh, you can change your walking speed by clicking the left stick. If you want to walk slower. Okay. I guess that's potentially helpful. I don't really want to do that. I want to go fishing. And I don't know how to do it anymore. Um, hmm. There's the map. Options. Is there a control that I'm missing? To activate the fishing prompt or something? Uh, no? Let's just cross. Not move refocus map. Well, I'm confused. <laughs> um Reactions, action one, two, three, four, yeah. Oh, you can change your name and pronouns in the options at any time. That's good. What I like to see. Help, I'm stuck. Uh, no, I, no, I'm not stuck in that sense. Help. Fishing. Approach any fishing sign. Okay, fishing signs. What do they look like? Is that what that thing is, or is that something else? No, I'm fishing sign, fishing sign, fishing sign. Aha! Here's a fishing sign. Oh, you have to be near the sign, and then it just sort of works. Okay. Uh, yep, that looks good to me. Just a little confused for a second there. I think I figured it out. Another child of the moon. That's not a new fish, but yeah, it's a fish. Uh. Oh no! Get away! Trading bellyfish. 
Okay, I have enough money to make those fish and chips now, so let's go back to this uh, house. I was about to say store, but it's a house, so I'm gonna go to my house so I can use the kitchen. I like your hair. Heather Ways. Oh, cute. Hey, Cara and the Waves, Danielle. Like I told kids, remember the three S's. Safety, safety, and safety. I like your hair. I don't know if there's, like, character customization. If I can, like, give my character glasses, for example. That would be nice, but it might not be. They've quite have written me into a particular character in this game. Uh, yeah, fish and chips. Uh, jellyfish, one. Get fish. I'm gonna chop it. I'm gonna wash it this time, which is interesting. I'm gonna fry it. Oh, then we need some potatoes in the fridge. Apparently. Chop them. And boil them. There we go. Now let's take those fish and chips over. The store might be closed by now, because it's a bit later at night, but we'll see. Come on, little puppy. Where was it? <laughs> oh, it's this one. Here we go. Oh, it's open. When is that signed? There we go. Oh. Welcome. Uh, I'm trying to talk to the other one, the, the kid. I need, to not, I need to not talk to you because you don't have the first vending machine, which is the one I need. So go into the, I guess the other part of this. Maybe I need to wait till tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm doing all right. Hader. It's weird that you have to find a fishing sign instead of just fishing wherever. It doesn't really match what I was expecting based on the tutorials. I really like the fishing stuff, fishing music, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Hello, little ling. Just stocking up on fish at this point. Suppose I should go to bed given it's past midnight in game. <laughs> uh, just go upstairs, I assume. The alarm for uh, morning. Oh, I like that. That's uh, very aesthetic.
Hey, Haru, I made you those fish and chips. It was last night, but it's pr probably still, they're probably still hot. I don't think they would have cooled down. How do I get into that part of the store I started in? I sort of got in there somehow. Is it this door? And then can I go up the stairs somehow? Doesn't look like it. I'm a little confused. Um, there are a couple of bugs. Um, doesn't seem to know what to call the map icon. Oh, hello. Hey, Haru. Duck, this recipe. Is there a specific fish I need? Fish and chips? No, any will do. Follow the recipe. I'll be waiting. Hungrily. Give item. Fish and chips. Here you go. Yeah, uh, one? It's selected? Or... Give. Harry, the fish and chips. Impressive, let's see. Attractive, well plated, well seasoned, street style. Presentation's top notch. The window polyvin is exactly what you need. By catching and simple to use, your customers will happily pay a little extra per dish. Oh, you want deliver this play model straight to your house. It's all yours. No charge. That's extremely generous. Keep looking what you're cooking. Think of Harry when you need an upgrade. Cool. Well, that's done. Uh, I don't know if I'm carrying three different species of fish right now, but I may as well drop in and see if I can drop, uh, leave some. Is it right? The aquaria? Daniel, how are you doing gathering those three different species? We're working on it. How come no one's helped you out these last three years? Uh, because of the curse. Sailors won't dare go out. I can fish from the pier, but I'm a hopeless mariner. You don't need to point out the irony. Donate fish? Yeah, I seem to have three different kinds of fish here, so I guess that works. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Fantastic! This place is finally coming alive! I can't wait to tell Olivia. Who's Olivia? This fair will need to buy a whole new ring, new wing. But this is only the beginning, right? You'll need more? Yeah. Absolutely! Lots more! This is an ongoing enterprise. Oh. Remember, you're helping the whole community. Every new fish will increase the sale price of the meals in your vending machine. Oh. Plus, as personal thank you, for the information I can for your journal. Yeah. Facts, fishing tips, plus any interesting folklore I come across. Munglo Bay has been plagued by myths and mysteries for decades. With your help, we'll turn this ailing town into a beacon of progress. Huh. Just remember, when you catch a new species, bring it straight here. Yeah. Hey, Marina, anything else I can do to help? Yeah. Besides bringing a new species? Nah, not for the aquarium. All admin and permits now, I need to create space for new tanks to emulate the biomes of the bay. Huh. Maybe I could fix your lunch? Look at this, your favourite. Oh, Ooh, I haven't had grilled octopus in absolutely ages. Yeah. Grilled octopus? No problem, coming right up. Uh, I don't think I've found any octopus. So I would need some of that in order to actually uh, make you a grilled octopus. <laughs> uh, do I have a quest? Return to Abbey at the beach. Oh. He's so proud, Robin. I retrieved our boat, I've set up a new vending machine to sell meals, and made a valuable connection at the aquarium. I want to see what else Abby knows. Oh, baby. Sad. I, I really hope Robin's okay. I hope she shows up later in the game. I just really hope she's okay. Success! I recovered the two catch and pushed shiny new vending machine. Hmm. And that suddenly makes you Felix Wilson? Huh? Who? <laughs> Yengler. Famously. So what now? You attack the bay with a rod and a plucky attitude? Why? Is there something else I need? Ah. A net for starters. Come on, let me show you. Net fishing is a great way to acquire bait, but to catch several small fish at once. It's also the only way to catch species that cannot be lured. 
Get those black insects, those are sand fleas. Sand fleas provide you with low grade bait, a deal for most fish in the bay. <laughs> Gosh, Jeanette, tap, uh, have to build power, then tap again to release. Like a, is that the left stick? Yeah. At least when your arms are fully extended for a bigger throw, give it a go. I did it wrong. Hmm. Yeah, the game's tutorials are not great. Um... Well, I got something. Great, once more, cast out and reel in those swarms. Excellent. Feel free to come back and catch for any time. Any free sand flea produces three pieces of low-grade bait. Hmm. You'll certainly be doing the beach a favour. Yuck. Oh. Now you can take what you've learned out into the bay. Go and look for any dark areas in the water. Cast your net and you're sure to find something. Hmm. Hey, Mum. I just saw Sarah at the boat shop. The two cats is ready to go. <laughs> hmm. For the record, I really don't like you sailing out into the great blue yonder. <laughs> Why? Because of the monster? Do not joke! People have lost their livelihoods to that... thing. Not a monster. I know that much. We've learned all we can from the shore. At least get a decent radio from Harrow's shop. That way if you get into trouble out there and need my tugboat and winch, you can call. Oh, oh that reminds me. I've been summoned to a meeting at Town Hall. You want to come along, Mum? I can introduce you to Mayor Tremblay. Yeah. Very fancy. I'll wear my best outfit. This one. <laughs> On the way, could you send home Casper? I'd rather not have both of you to worry about. Hmm. Careful out there on the water, Danielle. I mean it. Huh. It'll be a busy few days. What should we tackle first? Let's speak to Sarah at the boat shop. Get our trawler. There's a whole ocean out there to explore. I'd like to get away for a while. Uh, we don't have enough money to get the trawler yet. So... Can I cast my net again? Oh, I send it here and do it. Okay. It's said to tap the button, you actually have to hold it down and then release it uh, when your hands are all the way up. Which is not what the game told you you need to do, so I was quite confused. I think I might have gotten the net stuck. Um. Okay. Watch out, little doggy. Uh, watch out, little doggy. Standing right in the... In, I'm gonna push you over somewhere. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mrs. Fisher. Hmm? Hey, Casper. What's up? You seem miles away. Oh, nothing. I smelled this herb a while ago. It reminds me of Dad. I can't think of the name. 
cilantro? Miss Chips grows loads of it, it's pretty common. That's it, I used to cook this meal with it all the time. I can barely remember what it tastes like now and I don't want to ever forget. <laughs> Maybe we can help. Oh, we need to make something with cilantro. Or coriander as we call it. Seems like it's full of strange stories, Daniel. Try talking to people around town. Okay. I don't say I've spotted any dark places in the water I can throw my net in yet. You, you get over here. Yeah. in the water it's gone too far so I need to get somewhere in the middle yeah so there's some other stuff here like uh whatever these are I'm curious about that oh then it doesn't interact with it okay Just like garbage or hmm. <laughs> Ah, the fish journal keeper. Do I have a mystery for you? <laughs> a flock fish. What does it want? Where does it come from? What does it look like? Another great question. Nobody knows because it's completely covered in wool. Alright. I guess I find out about rumoured fish, and then eventually I can find them? And solve the mystery of what the heck they are? Oh, there's actually a big gap there. Okay, that explains why I couldn't just walk across. Hey Danielle, you've been cooking? Something smells amazing! Hey Billy Tremblay. <laughs> Greetings, fellow angler. Know ye the mighty devourer? Ooh. That fiend will gobble up your whole wardrobe! Whole! Aww. Really? It eats planks of mahogany? <laughs> No, I mean your outfit. Clothes. Small articles, anyway. What I'm saying is, it won't say to sock, I reckon. <laughs> that was cute. I check in my uh, inventory, like which stuff I got to pay for the two cats repairs. I need to make a bit of money to do that. Oh, I need to install the upgrade. It's actually in my inventory here. I guess I need to go over there and put it in place. And yeah, I need to make a bit of money so I can actually pay to get my boat. Oh, 
Oh no, it's already got the vending machine upgrade there. Hmm. Why is it in my inventory? Confusing. Give it a wash and a chop And fry it for a little bit Then we wanna bake it as well Yum 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 Well let's put those in the sale box Which is now a vending machine I guess Can I drive this car? Doesn't look like it. Uh, oh, hi, Abby. Yeah. yeah, we're friends. Absolutely. Why'd you ask? Yeah. Can I borrow your journal? Hmm. Thanks. Uh, what is it? Oh, just a little local custom between pals. And piece of advice: if you're looking to make new friends around around town, nothing beats sharing your cooking. Oh, Abby. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Oh, this game is going to give me a lot of feelings. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello. Robert Guy. Hi. Uh, sorry, not now. It's not a good time. Maybe later. All right. Say so. Hello, Mrs. Gertu. I run a small business. I'm gauging into some different recipes. You want someone who knows a lot of people? Uh. What are you implying? Yeah. Nothing. Just that you know everyone in town. Nothing untoward. Mm hmm. hmm. I don't usually care for seafood, but perhaps I could sample your surf and turf? Yeah. Sure, no problem. Happy to oblige. I don't think I have one yet, but you're right. You can have it once I've, I've made it. Oh, the library. Yeah, I love libraries. I'll go to the library. Oh, this is the town hall. That's closed right now. I probably need to come here earlier. I think the library... Oh, it's the same spot. I'm guessing it's closed right now. Oh, right, I need a radio. God, this... So heavy! Oh my god. Yeah, we can actually afford to pay for the boat now, because making a little bit of food was enough. Uh, I don't know if I can do it right now, because it's night time again, but I'll have a look and see if I can. Boat shop? Uh, here. Probably closed. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just closed. I think now, which is interesting. I'm not sure who would... Who player two would be, given that it's kind of significant that I'm, I'm like, alone. 
Uh, it, it could be like a river or something, I suppose, but... You get me. Hey, raccoon. How you doing? I'm for sleep. I'm for sleep. I really like this bit, that's super cute. Oh, it's raining today. <laughs> hey River, you know any other handy tips to improve my fishing? No, just the basics. Keep reeling, pull when they change direction and strike to haul them in. Remember, fish will be more cagey if you cast close to your boat or the shore. If you want to bite soon, make sure to cast long out into open water. Thanks, River. Oh, this is not the same boat shop. I'm in the wrong place. I need to go to somewhere else. Oh, Abby, Abby's place? No. Hang on. <laughs> uh, two cats repairs. Sarah. Sarah. Not sure where that is. I might untrack my other one so I can try to locate it. Oh, yeah, I need to buy a radio as well. I'm gonna go this way, apparently. pay for the repairs here-ish, where I am. This... Oh no, the waypoint just moved. I don't know if that means Sarah lives there, but just went to work, or... I'm confused. Right shop now? Okay, yeah, this is what I thought was supposed to happen. Here we go. Ah, uh, good timing, I just finished replacing the intake valve. And for you, the keys to the two cats. Thank you very much. I didn't see a car. How are you towing it? I'm not. I'm sailing. Sailing? Yeah, on the bay. Mm. On the bay? You alright? Sorry, yeah, but no one ever sails Moon, Go Blay. M Moon Glow Bay. Not since the collapse. Let's just say the tides are turning. Got it? Mm. In that case, I know one young girl will certainly be pleased. Uh. Claire, Abby's daughter. To catch up with her, she might have a small job for you. Apart from that, be safe out there. These are strange waters. Woo, the world is our oyster, and our fish and our lobster every other creature out there. <laughs> where should we explore first? What's out there? A lot, and the weather can shift dramatically depending where we go. We're in the calm bay waters here, but it gets a lot colder near the glaciers to the north. Huh. Over to the east is the waking storm and the hot springs. Hmm. Each area is split into sections with help you navigate. For now, let's catch some fish in the bay waters area. Huh. Check out the Azure Crossing, Perching Isles, and Border Sea. work exactly. Oh, I see. So you tilt the boat around with the, uh, by tilting the stick left and right to steer. Uh, you use, you use the right trigger to go forward and the left trigger to go backwards.
Excuse me, little doggy. I'm trying to fish here. Did get any fish? Just more bugs. Oh, I did get some fish that time. There you go. Neat. I don't seem to be able to change my bait and lures and stuff while I'm on the boat. I'm not sure if it's just not relevant when you're on the boat, or I'm doing something wrong. There's the lighthouse. Where am I? Neat. Oh, you go in here to change that stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Keep the controls a little simpler, I think, is the idea. Oh, right, I need to make something for you, right? Oh, no, it's Claire. Hello, Claire. Mm -hmm. Everything okay, Claire? Mm. I don't get why people can't tidy their own mess. Huh. Should have seen Mum's living room. It was like a noodly crash site. Mm. I mean, the bay. There's so much garbage. It makes Mum sad, too. Yeah. Let me help you both out. Why don't I fish out some of that trash? <laughs> yeah? I'll be your friend forever. Uh -huh. Although, cleaning the bay really ought to be its own reward. Uh-huh. You know, you're very wise for a nine-year-old. Nine and three quarters? <laughs> okay, catch some garbage. Uh, do I use my, my net, or...? Okay, none of that is garbage, that's bugs. I think there's something different. Aww. How do I get rid of the garbage? I, I can check the quest log and see. This shop is near the scrap shop. So the scrap shop is where I was. So I want to fish near the scrap shop. And there isn't a sign, so I might need to get back in my boat. I can fish up here. Oh, there's a sign here. Here we go. I'm 
everything for garbage, I don't need bait. Garbage is, does not get affected by bait. Answers to fish, that's not garbage. <laughs> um hmm. I feel like I want to use the net to get garbage. Maybe I could be in the boat to do that. Let's see. Boat time. That's fine. Oops. These things the garbage? And try to catch them and see what happens. Yeah, that is garbage. Okay, it's working. Uh, oops. Yeah, roll the boat, please. Garbage too, electric boogaloo. Controls are a little confusing. <laughs> I keep making mistakes here and there, but I'm getting the hang of it, so it's all right. I might turn my boat a little bit just to work. Uh, here, come back. What is this thing? Oh, it's a plastic bag. I'm glad I got that out of the water. That's a seagull. Seagulls are not garbage. Quite hard to tell what these things are before you pick them up. <laughs> Can. to be able to moor the boat there, but I can here, so I'll put it here. There we go. Oh, Claire's gone to bed, presumably, because it's one in the morning. <laughs> oh, gosh.
I'm so sad. Oh, interesting. The garbage didn't show up in here. I guess because it's garbage. Like, there's no reason to have it in here, but... I'm surprised it's not showing up. Rumored to cause infidelity. Sure. Blame the fish. That's kind of funny. Oh? Hi, I'm so thrilled to be writing these. So, the Ling. In Curious Whims Near Town. I only miss I find as we go. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you, Marina. Oh, another one. One of several species known only to Moonglow Bay. Like the town itself has an active imagination. Oh, I can go through the pages this way as well. Up and down. I can go up here. And they can go up here. Uh, where am I? Oh, this is where the lighthouse is. Okay. Yeah, that's the lighthouse there. Cool. I suppose I should take my um, little character here back to bed, given the time. I feel like there should be like an end day button that you can press without having to go all the way back to your house and walk slowly to your bed. Like in Pikmin or something, you know. You actually cannot move until your dog's finished going downstairs, by the way. Like, I'm not just waiting for the dog. That is actually how the game works. It's a bit strange. Takes mastery? Is it like you cook enough of it and then you're a master of cooking it or something? Maybe you need to cook it, cook it with like a perfect score or something, and then you get mastery? I'm not sure. I put all those fish cakes in there, get some more money. Did they go in? Yeah, they did. Cool. There's that kid. <laughs> you cleaned the bay! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, huh. We're best friends now, I have to make it official. Give me a book. Don't you feel happier too? Sure, but like you said, we shouldn't need a reason to help the environment. Ugh, can you sound like self-righteous Saturday morning cartoon? <laughs> Nine, she says. And three quarters. Don't go far. Aww.
Okay, it's like an hour and a half into, into playing the game. I think I should probably pause for now. Back down a little save. Oh, it looks like it auto saves. That makes sense. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Ugh. Oh, there's no bright save yet. Cool. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope if this game looks good to you or sounds good to you, given the soundtrack is really good, um, that you'll give it a look and a play and see what you think of it. I'm going to enjoy it. I had a lot of fun already and, you know, I'm only like an hour into it, so <laughs> there's clearly quite a bit more to the game than this. I don't think, by the way, that there's a time limit. Um, like, Stardew Valley, for example, days pass and then seasons pass and stuff, but this one, it seems to just be counting the days, so I'm guessing it doesn't really matter how long you take to do things. But I could be wrong. It could matter. Ugh. But, yeah, that's about it for now, so thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>